Well, hi, everybody. Good Thursday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. Some of you picking up on some heavy rainfall uh, last night. Um, and uh, some of you have had too much rain over the last few weeks. Others still missing out. Like I said, it was going to be feast or famine. That's been the case. And it's probably going to be the case again today. Still some rain out there this morning. The best chances will be in the western and southern portions of the local four viewing area today. Lower chances the farther northeast you go. And in fact, those areas might get in on a little bit more sun later on today. Things quickly winding down late this afternoon and this evening for the area. We'll start to clear up the skies overnight tonight, taking us into a partly to mostly sunny day for your Friday and a little bit warmer for Friday as well before rain chances return by Saturday as another cold front passes through. Now, while not a lot of additional heavy rain is expected, some rain, even a little bit of rain, could be too much for southeastern and southern parts of the local four viewing area that have been hit very hard over the last week or two. So a flash flood watch is in effect until tonight for the dark green, green shaded counties there um, because those areas could, can't even really stand to get another inch of rain. It's already so waterlogged. A flood warning does continue for Thayer County, one of the hardest hit areas there. They've seen 10 to 15 inches of rain over the last week and a half or so. So a flood warning remains in effect until 9 15. Now, this is one ra ra rainfall estimation of what could possibly happen later through the day today. Some of, again, some of the heaviest rains will be across northern Kansas and down towards southwest Nebraska. Many of us won't get a lot of additional rainfall, maybe up to a tenth of an inch or so. So I'm not expecting a lot of rain from most places, but the heaviest rains will be to the south and to the southwest. As for temperatures for today, topping out in the uh, 70s and lower 80s, coolest in the southwest with that better chance of rain, better chance of sunshine to the northeast, some warmer temperatures for that, those locations. Tonight, a little cooler out there as we drop back into the mid and upper 50s and lower 60s. Tomorrow, one of the two warmest days of the forecast. We're talking low to mid 80s for high temperatures. And then tomorrow night, uh, one of the warmer nights of the forecast, which isn't even that warm, upper 50s and lower 60s. These are above or below average, I should say. And then another below average day, but still one of the warmer days of the forecast on Saturday, low to mid 80s for high temperatures on Saturday. That's as a cold front comes through. And that front could, could bring a, at least a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms to the area on Saturday. So we'll throw in a 30% chance there. Chances might be a little better to the farther east you go. But with that cold front, check out what's coming early next week. Saturday through Tuesday, highs in the 70s, lows in the 50s. Picture perfect. This is going to feel like early to mid-September. It's not going to feel like the early parts of, uh, of August by any means, but just absolutely beautiful weather, lots of sunshine, barely a chance of rain, maybe out west. Uh, breezy conditions on Saturday, 10 to 20 mile per hour winds, not super breezy by any means. Wednesday is our next chance of rain and thunderstorms, maybe as early as late Tuesday night, mainly out west. And we'll start to warm it up a little bit on Wednesday as we look towards the uh, long range forecast, getting us into the end of next week, maybe back into the 80s by the end of next week, but still below average for this time of the year. So we have a wonderful stretch of temperatures coming up ahead of us here, uh, nearly ideal. And again, I am looking forward to that time frame between uh, Sunday and Tuesday. And like I said, when you get lows down in the 50s, if you are able to, if you live in a secure area and maybe out in the middle of nowhere, open the windows and let that fresh air in because it's going to be absolutely wonderful. I mean, some of those lows, 54 Sunday night into Monday morning, 53 Monday night into Tuesday morning, just absolutely wonderful. So a lot of good to look forward to. And if you need more rain, you have to hope we get something down the road here because because some of you did not get the rains like others did. Uh, I'm one of those places I still have not been able to buy more than a few drops of rainfall, unfortunately, and I could definitely use some more rain. I know some of you have gotten way too much rain. Share it, please. Please feel free to share. Well, with that, I'm going to let you all go. Thank you for watching on this Thursday. We're going to talk to you all again on Friday morning, looking ahead to what should be a wonderful weekend. Hope you all have a good Thursday. Take care. And God bless. Bye.